Not saying this $50 Amazon portable HF antenna is well made. I'm not saying go buy one. I'm saying that if properly deployed, it will outperform many other portable commercially made antennas, some costing hundreds of dollars. So let's have a look at this Chinese Wonder, which is now $39.70. I think that's a price drop from the last I looked at it. So you have your insulator here with an SO239. This is a steel spike for sticking into the ground. And this is your whip, which fully extended is a quarter wave on 20 meters. Now this ribbon cable down here, this is supposedly your ground radials. Uh, I, I don't think there are any instructions that come with this, but you wouldn't just want to uh, stretch this out on the ground as it is, although you could. I think the idea is to separate these little wires. I think I'd be using my own, you know, separate radials. Your whip antenna goes into one of these threaded holes, and the other one you put the steel spike in for sticking in the ground. But they don't tell you which one has continuity with the connector. So you just have to use your own meter to figure out which one. You know, I'm uh, picturing some poor guy with a CB rig transmitting into a 12-inch spike stuck in the ground. Now, why am I saying that this antenna will outperform other portable verticals costing hundreds of dollars more? Because many of those other verticals, portable vertical antennas, are shortened and use a loading coil to make up for that. This cheap Amazon antenna on 20 meters will outperform a shortened vertical antenna because it is a full quarter wave with the whip fully extended. Any antenna that uses a loading coil to make up for being short is a compromise antenna. Now, there is a way to get around shortened verticals' lack of efficiency. For years, the ARRL antenna book has featured this vertical antenna for 40 meters, which is only six feet high. Hard to believe, but this antenna is almost as efficient as a full-size 40-meter vertical, which is over 30 feet high. How is that possible? Among a few other tricks, like that huge capacitance hat, which lowers the resident frequency, lots of radials. Look at this picture. 60 radials. It's kind of like an antenna with little man syndrome. It makes up for it with lots of radials. Still, you cannot beat a full-size antenna. It's antenna rule number one. Any shortened antenna will not perform as well. You cannot change the laws of physics. The manufacturers have come up with all kinds of names for their shortened antennas. You know, miracle antenna, magic antenna, whatever. I'm just, you know, making up names here. Now, if they say it performs as good as a half-wave dipole, look out. Well, do these shortened antennas work? Well, sure they work. And most of us have to make antenna compromises these days. We just have to temper our expectations and not get too worked up about it. Consider subscribing to this channel in 73.